it gives pupils the opportunity to shine. That's the heartfelt testimonial of a teacher who's been coached under the Achievement for All framework. From its base in Berkshire, this educational charity sets out to transform the lives of vulnerable children, young people and their families, including those with special educational needs and disabilities. To see the difference it makes, we've been to two schools in London, a primary and a secondary. Here's Nick Thatcher. They have a motto at Carlton Primary School, if you believe, you can achieve. The children here come from a wide range of ethnic backgrounds and the proportion of pupils with special educational needs and the number who have free school meals is well above the national average. Can someone put their hand up please and tell me what method they used for question three? But a partnership with the education charity Achievement for All 3As is supporting some of the most vulnerable and disadvantaged children, helping them to reach their full potential. Our vision is that every child can succeed and underpinning that vision we have the three A's. So in terms of aspiration, it's the can do that teachers, parents, leaders, wider professionals and ultimately the pupils believe they can learn, they can succeed. In terms of access, ensuring that any barrier to learning is removed and then finally achievement and achievement is really really broad but ultimately that they can read they can write they are numerate and they can contribute to what's happening in the classroom but in society at large the charity achievement for all three a's was only set up in 2011 but is already making a huge impact right across the country in primary secondary and special schools its framework is based on a holistic whole school approach, but one that can be tailored to each school's individual needs. As well as promoting strong leadership, it supports effective teaching and learning and aims to improve wider outcomes for children, such as their behaviour and attendance. It also supports more meaningful parental engagement. Over the years we've used many, many strategies as all schools have to varying degrees of success but the structured parent conversation um, part of Achievement for All has been phenomenal in the sense that teachers and key adults in our school got training on how to have conversations with parents about the needs of their child and within the structure of the parent conversation you listen to the parent, you listen to their hopes and their aspirations for their children and that's key. When I first started coming to Colton I was really shy, withdrawn, hiding behind my baseball cap and I've been doing loads of parental programs with my children and it's helped me a lot and it's boosted my confidence and now I'm actually chair of their PTA. At Hampstead Secondary School pupils have been supported by achievement for all three A's to develop better listening skills in the classroom. There's also been a project to tackle bullying. And as a result, the school is now one of the most improved in the country. That's a really good start. That's a really good start. What it's done is to put a very clear message out there that every single student at Hampstead School, regardless of prior attainment, can and will achieve. And that isn't underpinned by a very strong moral purpose, but that can be deemed so much by its aspiration. And what it's done for us is to provide a mechanism and a strategy that can turn that into a very tangible and measurable outcome. Uh, and the ethos then spreads throughout the school. Achievement for all three A's is transforming schools and the outcomes for vulnerable and disadvantaged children, including those with special educational needs. Raising standards, improving results, and boosting aspiration, access and achievement.